SMT Nation, we are back. Nation Spectrum is hissing at Verizon. <laughs> oh man, these are always the best. Uh, complaints to the National Advertising, uh, whatever it's called, the NAD, <laughs> the Better Business Bureau Department, uh, for false advertising. Uh, looks like Spectrum not cool with what Verizon is saying about its 5G home internet. Uh, let's talk about it here in this video. Uh, link for the article from Luke Cord Cutters provided down in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if it's your first time here. And turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, folks, here it is. All right, so Verizon's got a very popular 5G home internet service. Growing like crazy. Lots of customers every quarter. Spectrum, the parent company, is Charter. You guys following the channel, you know what this is has complained to the National Advertising Division of the Better Business Bureau that changes to Verizon's advertising of their 5G home internet should be made. The claim by Spectrum is that Verizon's 5G home internet is confusing customers, making them believe that they'll get 5 gigabits per second speeds. While the NAD, I believe, is reviewing this and has determined that Verizon's 5G claims are not misleading, because when they use the term 5G, it's describing the actual technology and not the speeds, which I think we all understand that 5G stands for fifth generation networking, not five gigabits per second. Actually, if I remember correctly, it was either Comcast or Spectrum uh, that was actually trying to advertise 5G as, as speeds. I think there was a time when they were doing that last year. But anyways, the ir irony of it, um, but yes, there, there's other things we can question about Verizon's advertising, uh, when it comes to, to their home broadband. Uh, some other claims is that Verizon needs to stop claiming no data caps, uh, which is kind of a gray area because I guess technically they don't have a data cap, right? Like you can use one terabyte, two terabytes, three terabytes technically, but what, um, what Verizon does, obviously, because this is shared network access over their mobile network for 5G home internet, is that when you become a da heavy data user, they slow you down compared to other traffic customers that use less data, right? So basically deprioritization or network management. I'm not really sure if that violates no data caps. To me, it just it's, it's network management. So maybe that's the gray area. Uh, and the B BBB or the NAD... Uh, does recommend that Verizon changes those terms, right? Because you're not getting full speed all the time. It's not a dedicated connection, right? Uh, so we'll see. Uh, well, there, there's lots of claims here, and maybe Verizon does indeed change its language, right, to kind of meet the requirement here or the request of the NAD. But I, 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 don't, I don't really have a problem with a carrier, whether it's AT&T, Verizon, or T-Mobile saying, you have unlimited home broadband usage, no data caps, even if you know you have you get slowed from time to time. And there are people, believe me, who are experiencing the slowdowns from Verizon, from T-Mobile, and AT&T that are using the 5G internet network. You know, a shared resource. I mean, that can happen, especially if you have hidden traffic, especially if you have folks moving the gateways around in places where they didn't sign up for it, right? Where you know, Verizon and these other providers can't really properly manage the network, right? So remember, you know, mobile networks always get priority. And then, you know, the, the home internet user gets, you know, the second, second rate experience. It's just kind of part of the territory. But I will say to Verizon's credit, they do seem to be providing the, the most reliable or viable QCI or QoS most people that have the service are pretty pleased with it, find it to be reliable, and it meets the needs. Um, and, and for like AT&T Internet Air and T-Mobile 5G Home Internet, you know, they seem to be doing all right, you know, um, not for everybody, but you can clearly see in this, there's pressure, right? Spectrum is definitely trying to keep their home internet customers, right? And they're trying to put the pressure on Verizon. But ironically, remember, Spectrum sells mobile internet service via for the Verizon network so it's funny to see them biting the hand that feeds them in a way I think that's kind of a slippery slope 
I'm sure Hans is going to send a message over to uh, whoever the hell the CEO is. I forget who it is of Spectrum. Uh, and say, stop it. What are you doing, man? Cut it out. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, what do you guys think of the claims? What do you think about this little dispute, I suppose, if it is one? Sound off in the comment section below. Y'all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.